Hello everyone, welcome to Rise of Patience again. This is game three in the in this series of Plow Mac versus Red Bull. This is standard one versus one, but this is a different type of game because we have a water map. So they started with a, a random a random map, completely random map, and they got Nile Delta. So I'm not a fan of water maps just because I hate I hate having to micro my army and navy at the same time. Also because there's just too many open spots for your enemy to come in from and it there's a, n water maps are also uh, uh, booming maps because there is no there's no way I can so as, assuming if I was if I was a let's say if I have Iroquois like the Mac had in the first game. There's no way I can get a, a barracks right now and and start the ancient raid because in order to get my units across the water, I first need a dock, and it's just not feasible to get a dock because I want to raid. So water maps are you're mostly going to see a booming games in water maps. They can go even up to um, let's say. Yeah, uh, up up to industrial information age. On one side, we have um, Plamac as British. He he has decided to go to go with science, civic, and then commerce. On the other side, we have on the other side we have Japanese uh, Red Bull. He has decided to go for the same thing. So one of the reasons why none of them went commerce first is because they did not have water in their territory. So now they are close to water and they can make dock. So that's why they went commerce later. There is plenty of fish. Actually, this is a nice this is a nice fishing spot for a mag. There are five fishes and they're all they, there is a small choke point. So it's it's going to be easy to defend if Red Bull wants to defend. He can have a few towers here or he can have his heavy and light ships right waiting here to protect all these fishes. At the same time Red Bull has this choke point but he only gets three fishes in, in, in this small area. Looking at the rare resources, Red Bull has spice, ember they are uh, moderately fine resources but he's got silk here and papyrus now these are two of the best resources for booming and he also got horses on max side he got citrus silver and cotton so he has two of the rare resources that are really good for water so citrus gives your uh, ships he automatic healing and your and cotton provides in reduced production times in the dock. So, with these with these rares, Mac is going to have an upper hand in the water. While in the with these rares, Red Bull is going to have it much easier to boom. Well, I, I'll be honest. I feel papyrus and sh uh, and silk together is a little overpowered for booming. But here he has silver, which is not bad at all. For he, it gives you fifteen percent reduction time in aging. And there, and he's already researched. Mac has already researched military one. He he has made a light ship. Uh, another another advantage of British on water is that they get uh, their ships are created thirty three percent faster, and a added that cotton advantage 25% faster dock production that gives that makes it really good for Plamac. he can he can be making ships in such a small time and uh, he so if you, if you capture the, if you, in this map if you capture the water you have you have such such a big advantage maybe if he, if he managed to capture water he can undo all that papyrus and silk advantage let's see how the game plays out Red Bull has already researched Science 2 and Commerce 2 and uh, Plamac is going for Commerce 2 but initially there is no doubt that Japanese are way stronger 
and on top of that he has the papyrus and commerce which gives him cheap science and commerce so it's it's no wonder that he is ahead right now british are one of the slowest civilizations in the beginning they they're, they're one of the best benefits is their uh, 25 percent increase commerce cap so just with a single just with a single commerce cap uh, commerce to upgrade red bull uh, mac is almost close mac is already almost close to a 200 commerce cap that's a big advantage in in the late in the late run and this is the kind of map where british can utilize their increased commerce cap on the japanese side they also have an advantage on water japanese get 10 percent cheaper ships And there is Red Bull building a temple. He does not want any any border for Plamac to be on his territory. He does not want Plamac to come and build a city right here, because if if that happens, it will force Red Bull to go. Yeah, it will force Red Bull to start making barracks, stables, and he will not be able to boom as well. And looking at all his rares, he does looks like he wants to boom. Oh. So Plamac has Plamac has made he's made a city and he can and Red Bull can see that the only problem being that city is in the corner so of course that was the only place he could build but I assume he let's see why he built that did he know about sh sh the horses and and papyrus well it, it's a good idea to build there for one of the reasons being that he now captures papyrus and horses or at least he denies these two rares to red bull the the bad part of this exchange is going to be that his caravans will have to travel through this sea route which can be easily raided by red bull if plamac does not control the sea This is, this is turning into a really exciting game. Oh, and he's making it his capital. I, I won't call it a bad idea because you mean because meanwhile he's fighting here. He does not want Red Bull to sneak past in and get a city right here. But this is this is more of an all or nothing strategy. If he loses this city, that's it. There goes Red Bull trying to. He is he is trying to bribe those heavy infantry. Red Bull has made a barracks, and does he have a better economy than the British? Well, he has a better food income, but the British player has a better food income. So right now, Mac is trying to get out of his uh, territory so that his t senator can no longer can no longer bribe him on the other side here's red bull uh, red bull trying to fight off the british longbowmen these longbowmen are so strong because uh, british gets longbowmen upgrades instantly as soon as they age and these longbowmen are so strong that i wouldn't i wouldn't be surprised if the single longbowman kills both this these bowmen and the the heavy infantry of japanese Oh, it's turning into a nice game. Deadpool and Plamac are both head. To, uh, they're both so close in scores, and Plamac successfully saves that long bowman. So this is this is turning into an interesting game because right now it's a fight between whether. Plamac gets uh, uh, takes down Red Bull's city sooner, or does or does Red Bull get to age sooner? Because he has he has already taken all the advantage of the papyrus that he should have at that point. He has science three. He has a, a decent economy here, so he he can go to. I would say he can go to gunpowder age much faster than than Mac can at this point. Red Bull does not have as good a wealth income as Mac. Mac does control the water. It's it's clear that Mac controls the water. 
and there's there has been continuous harassments from Mac starting initially from this game. So this is this is a really nice style of playing this. Mac did not wait for too long to get on get on Red Bull's island. This it was a big gamble. Yes, if he had failed, if if for some reason if his city was if his city was seen or if his city had been stopped from making, he would he would have lost the game right there. But he he placed it at such a nice spot and denied Red Bull these two rare resources, and he got horses. He got the better part. So if he had built it here, he would just get Amber, which is a stupid rare in this case. I would I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be sad if I lost Amber. But if my enemy got horses and papyrus, I would be really pissed off, and I would be in a in a bad position right right there. Red Bull is getting wary of the situation. He understands this. This can be it if he play. He takes it too lightly. He has two barracks and two stables right here. And that's the fun part of controlling the water. You get to you get to send fisher boats, which make both food. They, they get both food and. Wealth. That's 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 part of the reason why he has such a nice wealth income. Oh, why 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 didn't you get your long woman out? But, okay, okay, and so he went despot. I did not I did not see that. So that means every time he kills a unit within the ra within the radius of the despot, he is getting boom, he is getting that plunder. And that long pen, long bowman range is just insane. I bet this this long man woman has such a high range. This can, it can snipe anything on the boundary right from his barracks. Looking at their economies, there's their Red Bull has Red Bull has a uh, actually both of them have quite similar economies, but Red Bull is lacking severely in wealth and knowledge and that's he has third of knowledge income compared to max so it looks like he has he no longer has that advantage that he initially got because of that science research so it's always a gamble he spent all those resources to get ahead in in technology but because of this 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 sly attack from Mac, he can no longer use it because he's already losing his battle on the water he's not even trying to fight it oh my god this is funny. Do you see? Do you see this yin yang being formed here? Okay, that's at least what how I see it. Red Bull has taken silver here. Red Bull is—he is, just made this dock. Oh my God! Does does he does he realize this is not this is not blocked? Mac does not know, that, or Mac just doesn't care. Mac maybe Mac thinks this is blocked. That's why he has not tried to get uh, go inside there. This can this is going to be so much so interesting. Red Bull has a nice army composition. He has more of uh, cavalry, or at least he has a lot of cavalry because he knows a British player is going to be heavily dependent on his archers, and nothing counters better uh, counters archers better than cavalry. Oh my God! I am so excited for this game. I I love that I do not see these games in advance, so I get to enjoy them just as much as you do. And he clips up. He clicks up to gunpowder age. Meanwhile, Red Bull is in no condition to age up. But Red Bull does have a bigger army. Oh, that's not a good idea. That's not a good idea to fight all those cavalry head-on with your archers. No, 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 no. And Red Bull trying to snipe the despot. He will not do that. They both have a nice economy, but Red Bull is nowhere close in knowledge production. In knowledge production, nowhere. And Red Bull is Red Bull has started using these. Oh my God, he 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 must have forgotten those. I feel I feel bad for him. He can he can he can start using all those and and Red Bull is going to get more out of these fishes. I thought. Japanese Japanese get more out of the fishes. It, it does not show it here though. 
Oh, and he's going to lose all those sieges. It hurts when you lose sieges. Sieges are so expensive. That's a bad idea. No, he is he is going to lose that spot. He is going to lose that spot. Oh man. This is this is a bad army composition. Finally, yeah, he this he makes a heavy nice. Thank god. It's not a good idea to be making uh, archers and archbishops when your opponent is going heavy on uh, on uh, cavalry. Red Bull is also using this citrus slide. Oh man, that guy. He <laughs> Mac has no idea he, he's using that. He could just send a villager and karate chop to this merchant right here. Red Bull, Red Bull also does not. Ha he does not expect mac to get a city because clearly he's not making it big he has the silver so he'll, it'll make it much easier for him to age as I, as i've told before once your opponent is an age ahead of you you get a 20 percent discount for that age you get a 10 percent on the food cost and a 20 percent on the knowledge cost and on top of that the silver is going to make it really like it's a little dirt cheap for red bull to go gunpowder the problem is Red Bull does not have the right army to counter him. Red, so it's Max army is mostly composed of archbishops and and archers, while Red Bull's army is mostly heavy heavy infantry, and that's not a good combo, not at all. He needs more cavalry and archbishops to counter that. Their economies are very close. Sun, Red Bull has caught up very quickly suddenly but thanks to this small a small hole where he gets he's getting his water from mac is not cognizant of the fact that there is a, a, a car caravan route right here else he can place some light ships but red bull does see that caravan he he, he should build that and that's that's another fun part of water maps that you get you get so involved in either water or or the land that you forget the other part. And whoever whoever finds out about the other part first, they get to take advantage of that. And and there's Mac. He's he is trying to inch closer to the enlightenment age. Meanwhile, Red Bull. Red Bull is uh, spending his resources on monarchy. He wants to get rid of this city as soon as possible. I don't think he, he I don't think he has an idea that Mac wants to go enlightenment first. And a great move by Red Bull. He's making raiding units right here. He's going to spam dragoons. He's going to make Mac's life hell right here. And Mac it, has he not realized it? Oh, he is making militia. Not, not a bad idea, but those militia are not going to be enough to counter dragoons. He needs to make a barracks right here. He, he has the armor upgrade right here. Red Bull does not have a castle. He does not have the armor upgrade. And I, I have repeated this multiple times in my cast that and the armor upgrade makes a lot of difference and with an e they have about equal armies maybe 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 mac has a little uh, has armies a little bigger but with that armor upgrade there's no way that bull is beating mac there and but this th this raid can overturn everything i have no doubt this raid can overturn everything he's raiding from all the sides this city this city is going to be this city is going to be unproductive for a long time. Red Bull is not creating it. Uh, Mac is not creating any barracks right now. It's going to be a big problem for him. And Red and Mac has got the second armor upgrade while Red Bull is still at plus two. All Mac needs right now is to start start reducing the city, and as soon as he hits enlightenment age, he can take that. Meanwhile, there's there's awesome raids going on back home in Plamax Plamax territory. Where is the barracks? Come on, make a barrack or a stable. Make something. You cannot fight these off with just militia. You're losing a lot of your a lot of your villagers.
and I feel at this point since since Mac has so much of wood, he should make a dock here or just use his available dock to start fishing these. He has secured this area. He can he he should be making the best use out of his his British commerce cap. And finally we get to see a barracks. Thank you, Mac. But will it be made or will it get interrupted? So one of the things that has been keeping Mac busy is this raid. I bet when he has to go back, look at this raid, use his villagers, he's forgetting about his army. He's losing the, he, he's losing all that micromanagement time, and he's just ran, he's just leaving his his army to randomly fight, and th that's that's that doesn't matter in this case. Yes, he missed the castle, so, and he calls the GG that that's it a great game a great game uh, from both sides what i really liked about mac was how fast he got here he made his city he took the chance and he grabbed both of these awesome rares what i like and he also had the control over water for a long time well red bull did start uh, raiding but he, he he wasn't there for a long time while uh, well, what I really liked about Red Bull was he started this raid and if he had this castle he had this castle up here assuming he was he would have fought off this this battle somehow Red Bull would have made his life hell back home he would have he, he, so another good thing about Japanese is their heavy infantry are really nice are really strong against buildings that means he could have made a barracks here spammed six or seven heavy infantry and he could have taken a city with those heavy infantry single-handedly i mean double-handedly because samurai he used two hands for a sword i mean <laughs> but he, he he could have overturned the game only if he had a castle well played by both sides i really enjoyed casting this game and see you all next time